What's up, guys? It's a boy here, FG7 here. Welcome back, guys. Glad to hear you guys. You guys are doing great, JK. I can't even hear you guys, but yeah. Welcome back to Life is Strange, episode, what, 7? Um, I think we left off last time in the... What's it called? Well, we're gonna enter the diner, but before we get started, I just wanna, you know, thank you guys so much for um, tuning in all the time. Whoever actually tunes in and watches my videos, you know, I really appreciate it. You know, things are really tough right now in my life, I would say. You know, I mean, who else? You know, of course, quarantine has caused some issues, but just me, just in general, you know, I've been kind of down lately. <laughs> and I kind of don't like that, you know? Like, I kind of want to just, like, try to be happy, you know, and all that. And, like, making these videos are it makes me happy, you know? And I'd really appreciate if you guys could just, you know, hit the like button or share this with a friend or something like that. You know, I'd really appreciate it, man. Like, it would mean a lot to me. But, yeah, guys, hope you guys are doing well as well, you know? Like, I just want you guys to be doing, you know want you all to be great you know doing good things for yourselves but yeah enough of this like little weird ass talk i'm sorry let's just get back into the gameplay man that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware makes me good lord talk about apocalyptic to live within the woods Huh, live within the woods. Interesting. Now oh, that brings back memories. Chloe and I loved the parade. All right, let me just talk to people. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Dude? Still mourning. Thank you. To catch an if by big you I dick. Hello there to you. Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? She's Canadian, bro. That's Canadian. Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. Why does that so not sound fun? This guy has serious cojones. Cojones. <laughs> I might make Chloe check this out with me. Bigfoot? That's funny. The Arcadia poster doesn't Blackwell. mention whacked students with guns. Yeah, uh, you're right. Oh, Kate, Marsh, love you, long time. Flush before using on That floor. graffiti has been here forever. Oh, pissing on the floor. Arcadia gay sucks. Thank deck. you, redneck poet. Jesus. What's this? Fire walk with me? Is that what, is that what it's saying? Fire walk with me? Alright. Gross. Rachel A owes me a blowjob, so does your mom. <laughs> That's funny. No, I'm not trying to look at the news. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. All right, buddy. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now, that is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? He kind of has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. That's How true. well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our, our mother. I okay. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. 
just heard she even just got busted with partner room. Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scanner. Joyce said the weed belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I'd just tell that loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. Oh. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, Besides, nice, David that Madsen's nice. watching over. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. Then you know she's a handful. No, I think she's just had some bad luck. You have to create your own good luck. I think Chloe would rather destroy. But I'm just a cop, not a psychologist, so... I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. Oh, what the, heck? the guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. No wonder, dude. I was using my wrong mic. Let me know if the audio is a little bit better now. If not, I'm sorry. Let's see. Should I don't feel like talking right now. I got to deliver a load of breakfast to my, my stomach. stomach. Over now. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. Yes, sir. You crack me up, Maxter. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School? Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. Wait. He's right there, though. That's weird. Not everything. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. Whoa, Ken Kesey with Joyce? That's so perfect. Last time I got demonetized for my video, even though I don't even make money, because of the song that I was playing, like the game song, or whatever. Yeah, it's just the audio, man. I gotta watch out for it. And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. Yes, sir. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man. He just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the Seattle. right thing. Yo, Seattle, bro. Y'all know, y'all know, dude. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. 
That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? Well, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful, and he will be punished. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. That's no excuse to hit a girl. He's an adult. I don't like it either, Max. David swore it would never happen again. He's true to his word. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess, I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? I think last time I got a bacon omelet, so I'm gonna get some Belgian waffles. The last waffles. good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. What if I want food with my coffee, you know? I'm a latte guy, but you know, I love coffee. Yes, sir. One the only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. One Belgian Nerd graffiti. Warren must, I love the delish anticipation of breakfast. Get my coffee on. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back Can I in time. Some beer and bacon before I die? This no, is sir. a diner, not a boss. No beer? <laughs> it looks like you had plenty. Stick with the, the lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. That's true. No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? Incoming! I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat to you for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Oh god, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. <laughs> you guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pocket. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Some old chewing gum? Nada. Not impressed. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets.
So she's got a That ticket, was beyond cigarettes. epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Spare change. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. She has a bear with it. Keys. Cigarettes. She has one, two, three, four, five, six. Six pennies, two, uh, three quarters, and a nickel. Uh, she has a warning ticket from 10.34 a.m. Um, out of parking bay. This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Oh, shit. Thirteen cigarettes. I smoke too much to have thirteen cigarettes. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually if I didn't even tell. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully One, two, and don't three, forget four, anything. Five, six. So seven, cig seven cigarettes, six pennies, two, three quarters, and a nickel. And a warning ticket from Sergeant Franklin, whatever. Franklix, 10.34 a.m. TWMP, AKS, out of parking bay. Okay, Max. I'm... Yes, you know... Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Um, you got keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. It's a panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? Aw, oh, man. So it's three nickels. I mean, three, three quarters. So that's 75. Six pennies, I think. So that's 81. And then a nickel. So I think it's 86. Cents. 86 cents. That's right. Living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? It was at 10.34. 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! That's crazy, bro. Amazeballs! I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more, something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Joyce, she's walking, she says hi to me, drops. Did you the break dust. another cup? Really? Oh, guy drops no a cup. refill for you. No refill. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. The police hey, where's is my partner? Okay. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. Oh, they're going to get in a fight because of the girl. I'm finishing it. That makes sense. Uh, the cop left, though. She waved. That's the best song I've ever heard. This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I that think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. The jukebox ends up like So, what are you story. waiting for? I'm going to predict 
four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and he quickly exits the diner. Oh, well, exit. let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Fuck, was it a fly or a cockroach crawls on it? The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Maybe Pretty it was bizarro, a Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Alright, let's see what happens here. I don't remember seeing a cockroach or anything. She doesn't drop it, the guy drops it. Oops! Dude, Did you, you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I dick. think not, Don't slap Max. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Oh, look, it's a cockroach. Fucking A. This is sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Really? Do I gotta start again? I'm going to put. Uh, drops her play. Trucker drops his money. The truck. So, what happened? Uh, his partner leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just. Uh, just stop, stop. Just. This is getting. The, the cockroach. The jukebox go. Pretty. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait, really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. He's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. <laughs> they didn't even finish eating, bro, or like pick up. All right. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Oh, Don't even answer. We have places to go and pull to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Dude. I right, look. 
I don't need fucking petty shit in my life, right, man? If you know I'm your homie, I'm your homie, dog, and I'll be there. So we're gonna be there for Kate March, bro. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? You see, it was like only like 10 seconds, bro. Like, Thanks, Max. Trip. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now, let's rock. Why are you gonna get, like, I'm so dumb, dude. Like, <sighs> sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. Yeah, it's who cares, bro? Like, Uh oh, what the fuck? Okay. Alright. I think this is a good place to stop. Alright, guys, if you guys enjoyed this, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you guys are new. I'd really appreciate it. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, you know, I, I enjoyed this episode. It was pretty cool. Nothing crazy. But yeah, guys, I'll be back maybe. Um, actually, before I leave, I want to let you guys know I started school again, like online classes, like starting tomorrow, Monday. If you guys are watching this like during the current day, um, there's a possible chance that I might not be double uploading anymore or I might upload every other day just depending on like how much homework I have, you know, just stuff like that. But for sure though, I'll, I'll try to be consistent. I'm going to try to upload every day, if not every other day. But yeah guys, thank you so much for tuning in.